Triple H. Triple H. Um, amazing career, what he's, he's had, you know, and, and where he's gone to. Um, you know, I was just watching uh, something with Warrior on Dark Side of the Ring. And I remember when Triple H first came in as Hunter, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And uh, he worked with Warrior WrestleMania. And I had that match. It went like 30 to 45 seconds. So look at where Triple H went from there to the DX until, you know, into the DX mode, you know, after 96 and the late 90s and early 2000s to where he boosted up his career and he took the business a whole new, another level, man, with DX, you know, and it was phenomenal. And look, he's running the company now. I can't let um, yeah. Ultimate yeah. Warrior Triple H go. Uh, so you you were the ref there. Did you remember any planning uh, backstage of, of what was going to happen? Were you privy to that? Wasn't much planning. It was 30 something seconds. It was just, he comes in, hits the ropes. I think he gives him three clotheslines or something and, and he squashes them and beats them one, two, three. It was, it was in and out. It was like, it was actually one of the most easiest matches I've had at wrestling. Well, <laughs> do you, um, <laughs> just when Ultimate Warrior, he gets the pedigree and then he stands up just mm-hmm. like that, like, like, um, absolutely nothing. Do you, do you remember watching that and just thinking, oh my God? Yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's the way it was. I mean, Warrior was, you know, he was hard to work with with a lot of guys back then. And um, they thought, you know, I think Vince just um, got enough of, you know, his bullshit at the time. But he was a great guy to me. Jimmy Elwood was a great guy to me. He was always cool with me. You know, I was a, I was a referee. So all I had to do was just do my job inside the ring. It wasn't like I had to, you know, I had to go over on him or he had to beat me and I was being difficult because I wasn't a worker. So, um, you know, but, um, yeah, I mean, he had, a, you know, it was, it was difficult to work with a little bit there. So, you know, with, with Jimmy, but I mean, he was just, uh, he was a no sell kind of guy too. He didn't sell much. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt bad because the way he came back finally to the WWE after like 20 years, goes to the hall of fame. And then like a couple of days later, he passes away. It was amazing. Just a sad story. Yeah, I mean, just with that last uh, interview we gave as well, it was it was almost prophetic, oh, wasn't it? I know. Yeah, it was just, uh, yeah, it was, it was it's sad, man. See, it's always sad. You know, he's 54 years old. It's sad to see a wrestler go out that, that young, mm. you know, and the way he went out, you know, 20 years disbarred from the, the business, and then boom, comes, gets a chance at a Hall of Fame, you know, inducted to the Hall of Fame, and then passes away less than a week later. 